Kaufman. Welcome to episode number six of the Catan Spot podcast, The Sweet Spot. Hello. How is it going, Alfred? It's been a long time. Nice to be back again. Now it's Cardano Spot and not the Cardano Hotel, but simply always the good Alfred. Nice to meet you. Great to see you again. So, uh, Tim, <clears throat> you're one of the founders of digital platform uh, IMX. Uh, before we take a deep dive into IMX, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, I know we already met, but maybe the public doesn't know. So, uh, who, is, uh, who is Tim Brookman? Yes, I'm Tim. I have two, ch- two kids in live in Germany. I'm uh, 48 years old already, so one of the older uh, uh, part of the Cardano f- f- community. And um, yeah, deep dive as well. I'm an enthusiastic cave diver. And uh, if my free time I spend diving in caves. Mm, awesome. That's a very, very specific, very, uh, very special kind of hobby. All right. Uh, let's talk about um, the introduction to, um, to the platform. I mean, we live in a world where the technology, like there's a lot of new technology coming out of the moment. So many, um, many new solutions to existing uh, problems, right? So what is exactly the problem that uh, you guys identified that needs to be solved? We identified that onboarding on uh, different levels is highly inefficient from, if you look at a, from a, the perspective of a, of a bank of a financial institution, and we like to digitize and automate uh, compliance solutions. Right. Okay. Then um, how long have you been working on IMX? When did you start working? And since we are talking about the Cardano blockchain, when, uh, what made you choose Cardano specifically? Cardano has a brilliant funding mechanism. You know, we know all the ISPO, uh, the initial uh, stake pool offering. We have brilliant Catalyst, uh, uh, um, the Catalyst uh, project, which is it's great. Big up to Daniel Riba. Very nice. You know, I see the amendment of this uh, tool is great. And there will be, I'm very sorry for forgetting the name, there will be a next uh, funding uh, platform, a company who is building a funding. So I think funding is something where Cardano is uh, quite well in. And I think we talk about this also later. Right, of course, very, very, very important that if you want to build On the a- other side, we, we find also, also that the technology is, you know, I'm not tech person, so please, everybody, sorry, I'm not a tech guy. Mm-hmm. But the technology, what we found out, uh, even after we've onboarded on Cardano, is uh, we can do something which under other blockchains can't do. And we feel that especially in our product, Ada Mail, where we talk also later about, I guess. Right, we get, we talk about it later. All right. So and let's get into the details about uh, the platform, right? I mean, you guys have been around for a little bit, but for people that haven't heard about you yet, it's always good to have a little uh, refresh also. So what is uh, IMX and exactly what does the platform do? Um, talk about the platform, what are dates, how do they work? And give us some example of the many cases in which your platform might be uh, useful in the society. So our... Our start point is digital identity. And this was the start point also how we entered the Cardano space. You know, we had a problem with our company Handy.de, which is a mobile phone carrier here in Germany. We sell uh, mobile phone contracts and we felt there is a lot of fraud. Uh, we thought this fraud can be avoided uh, using the blockchain technology. And we found Cardano due to very, very good uh, transaction fees to to a really a lot of points. So we are really um, a big fans of the technology, and our CTO Dennis, you know, he could take even more, could talk more about it. But uh, we have, for me, as the as the bit as a business guy, you know, I studied business administration back in the days. Um, we have this identity is for us the building block number one. Mm-hmm. So. If you have an identity, you can do onboarding. You can onboarding from a single sign-on up to a high-level compliant onboarding. Mm-hmm. And we see always this identity as our core. And around about, and around this core of identity, we build different solutions. So we have a solution called DocuFight, where we use the KYC to sign a contract. This is uh, on a quality, uh, the highest quality level uh, which is used in especially Germany and Switzerland. In other countries like the US, you don't have these um, levels. You have kind of um, specifications you need for e-signature uh, tool in the US. 
but it's not a high level. It's quite easy to solve it with our identity solution. And in Europe, you have to work with the big players because they will test your tool. They need to give you a license that you have this quality E signature, yeah, mm -hmm. this cool ES. Then we have another satellite. So this satellite is like a decentralized Adobe sign or Doku sign. It's called Doku Fight. Then we have a satellite called Ada Mail. Ada Mail, you can sign also an email with an KYC. So the email is from you. This is where we think around in the mm -hmm. digital notary where we can find uh, new ways how to sign with other people, how to have an, uh, where we solve the problem that the email is not scam 100%. And the identity solution you can also use when we talk now. You don't know if I'm Tim. I didn't log, log in with my wallet. You don't know if this identity is a brilliant AI yeah. or if it's the, the, the Swiss guy living in Germany. So mm -hmm. in the future, that will be very interesting because mm -hmm. you like to interact only with legit people. Mm -hmm. So this is an identity solution. So you log in with your wallet. In your wallet, you can store the identity, different levels of identity, different identities, an identity you use for Twitter, an identity you use for your business. And this is something what we created on IMX. And it's not like a platform. It's like more an ecosystem we are building. Right. And um, the first products are out already with other mail and other mail will be scaled to other blockchains. We already have uh, Ether email online. I think it's 150 uh, clients already. We did make, I think we make one post. That's it. We didn't focus too much there, but we will have the email system running on Solana and other uh, uh, chains as well, mm -hmm. that we can always combine the, the, the technology we found on, on Cardano with others, you know, because you can't do governance on Solana or on EVM chains, mm -hmm. but you can use the email program to vote in a zero knowledge proof. This is super nice. Huh? Okay, maybe just explain what a zero knowledge proof is because it's very important in the whole concept now I think of digital uh, identity so let me uh, explain the knowledge Brief proof a little bit so. yes so I'm going in a shop I like to buy a bottle of whiskey so I'm in Europe I need to be 18 years old mm -hmm. the seller is asking me are you 18 years old all he has to know legally binding is yes or no and I have to prove it right I don't like to show him my driving license with my address with my name birthday everything why should I give the data to him? It's my data, my identity. Mm -hmm. So with zero knowledge proof on blockchain, you can prove, yes, I'm 18. That's it. And if I like to check in in a hotel and you as a hotel uh, yeah. owner has to report to the, in your case, exactly. the Spanish state. Yes, it's Tim Brückmann living here. He mm -hmm. will be here from till. And if you say, okay, I'm a block fan, blockchain fan, I don't give the data. You have problems with the government and the laws. Yep. So why not doing every this with a zero knowledge proof mm -hmm. out of your wallet? Give me one more example of something like like in real life that uh, that uh, digital identity might uh, might solve. Onboarding on DeFi platforms. Mm -hmm. Usually, you know, a decentralized um, uh, financial system has to follow some laws. I think that I know this is a an a part in blockchain which is not the most sexiest um, topic, but um, onboarding in a regulated way, I think it's quite important. I don't like to to put people to the tax office, you know, that's not identity or onboarding, you know. And onboarding means if we if someone onboards or an investor onboards at IMX, we always make a KYC. Why? We already had our, uh, people offering us quite a high double digit million coming from Cyprus, a Greece island, which is very famous for a lot of Russian people live there, have mm. banks there and so on. Money so we make a KYC, we saw it's a Russian guy. And you know, when I, if I am took this money, we, we are in big, big trouble here in Germany, yeah. in Switzerland. Yeah. And so this is something that you make all these sanction list checks while onboarding. Right, an investor okay. or onboarding like you know a customer who buys an nft in general you look i will t i will sell you an nft 
Mm. And uh, you don't know who I am because it's a decentralized, uh, a nice project. You mm. see, oh, that's cool. You know, you don't know who I am because I didn't make a KYC. Yeah. You buy, I make a rug pull. Everybody, oh, he makes a rug pull. Yeah. But before, no they don't like to, to have the identity. Nobody yeah. says every NFT project should have an, an KYB so I can see who is it. Who can I sue if they really play bad? Yeah. Who can I sue if I found out that money invested in my company is from a child porn ring, you know, the most bad thing in the world. Yeah. Do we like to have this money in our company? That's a big ethical question. I don't know. I don't like to have. It. Yeah. But people always have to ask themselves if anybody invests in a in a company, they calculate if money laundry is done, money launderers calculate with 30% off. They don't care about the 30%. Yeah. If I like to wash a million. I give it to you. You give me 700,000 euro back. For me, money washing, perfect. And this is the big industry. Should we support this industry? Should we help them to wash money and get even in the more darker corner of blockchain technology? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is always a question. We have to, yeah. we have to uh, ask ourselves when we say we don't like to KYC, we mm -hmm. like to have anonymity. Yes, anonymity is good, but there are facts where you have to reveal who you are yes and if you can do it with zero knowledge uh, proof then uh, of course that's a great solution you mentioned uh, DeFi. Uh, i noticed for example uh, talking about finance like back financial big financial uh, institution like for example blackrock they're also interested in tokenizing um, risk weight assets so again how would that work Yes, the topic is the tokenization of real world assets, the buzzword we have mm -hmm. actually in our in our uh, industry here. And I think this is uh, the tokenized real world assets is really something blockchain is made for. Mm -hmm. I think that it's really perfect to tokenize collectibles, to tokenize shares, to tokenize real estate, which is the biggest uh, asset in the world from Bell looking at the value. And yes, we tackled this together with uh, two other companies here on Cardano. Mm -hmm. The company is called Nmaker. Everybody knows the guys with the green color. Big up to Patrick. Really nice guy. We are having very lot, a lot of fun working together. And on the other side, we have Matteo and Raul and his team from Fluid Tokens. Mm -hmm. And together, we develop a platform called Finest Investments, mm -hmm. where we start to tokenize real estate and shares. We are will be soon online. We're just waiting for, we founded the company here in Germany because here's a very special law that helps us mm -hmm. for tokenization. We never thought about it, but it's the best country. We made a big research here in Europe mm -hmm. and uh, it's very good to do it in Germany or in other European countries because you can, there is a called uh, travel rule. So if someone said, okay, you are compliant, your, your, your project is compliant here in Germany, mm -hmm. then you can use it in all the other no, states Europe. of the European Union. And that is something nice because I think it will help our colleagues and friends from the community in the US a lot. If the US government also do, okay, you are, you are, you are compliant in one state, why not in all 52? Or I think it's 52, hopefully I'm not wrong. Yep. And uh, this is something where I think we have a step ahead we are a step ahead with the European uh, mm -hmm. regulations, but US will follow soon. I'm very sure they mm -hmm. will not like to be the last uh, one starting this right. process. And IMX is the or can be the legal part in this uh, in this new company, and we're doing all the onboarding solutions. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay, in the in the company, of course, you're on blockchain, so you have a token, which is called the uh, the IMS token. Um, where does the token exactly come in today in the whole equation? Uh, what is the current value of the token and why should people invest in it? Yes, let's jump from the finest, what I told you before, tokenizing of real world assets. A company is a real world asset. And usually we like to start like this. We were thinking about this very early when we founded IMX, but we haven't the knowledge and we haven't been digging so deep into compliance and onboarding and regulations. So we have like a lot of companies, um, the token for investors, but we are not on DEXs, not on DEXs, you know, people can can uh, open a liquidity pool, but we don't provide liquidity there. We, we don't think it's healthy for our 
environment so for our company for our uh, cardano community if we push a token without uh, having a value now and for me a value sure. uh, in my old world has to be a value for real world i like to use the token i like to pay something with right. it i like to manage or create an identity because then mm -hmm. you get our Fibonacci sequence. It's quite complicated. We yes, skip that. People can read about it. But if you create an identity or manage your identity, you get your uh, uh, you get another coin back. So mm -hmm. just that people start to use their identities. Yes. And we will use very shortly the, the IMX token because we get these questions nearly every day. Mm -hmm. Alfred. So I'm thankful that you ask it mm -hmm. from our uh, supporters, which are the delegators to the ISPO, you sure. only can get the IMX token through delegating in the pool, mm -hmm. or you could be one of the first investors. First investors is done. Nobody's there. I think from the Cardano community, there is a big fish, a whale invested with us, the way we all love. And the rest is private uh, uh, friends, family. Uh, we get quite a good support from old Formula One guys because of uh, the, my, my, our CEO as a brother who is a, was a Formula One driver. We always like to okay. tell people because a lot of people ask, where does your money coming from? You know, mm -hmm. And yeah, we are quite good founded, mm -hmm. but we love that the delegators in our pool will be the ones who really have like, their investment must be, we will have to do it to go it. So we will start with this very soon uh, to pay a lot of great, Projects like DocuFight, you know, we don't like to have an, uh, a pay-per-month model. We like to have pay-per-use because we all use dig digital signature. And I don't like to pay for a month when I don't make a contract this month. But you have to do a yearly abonnement or monthly payment. We do a model pay-per-use, use the IMX coin and make your contract. It's much cheaper than all other competitors. And when people ask them, why you're so cheap, much cheaper than your competitors, because it's not our main business. We are very, it's a luxury for us, mm -hmm. but we can use the identity in the middle. You remember when I say the satellite, mm -hmm. we can use the identity to sign it. Brilliant. So we don't need all these centralized tools anymore. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the prices of DocuSign, Adobe Sign, and all the others, uh, Dropbox had also something like that. It's extremely expensive. Uh, and I think we can make it much sleeker, Great much you. better from UX, UI, connect wallet sign, done. Super yeah. nice. Right. Awesome. Yeah. Listen, well, that brings me to an expression uh, like a whole topic in the Cardano, uh, especially social media development is, uh, is marketing. So uh, where, how do you go about uh, finding uh, new clients for uh, the IMX uh, platform? Oh, that's a, that's a nice question. I never had these questions before. Mm -hmm. So first of all, I love marketing and selling. I did this uh, since I'm 16. I sold sunglasses, was my first business when I was 16. And uh, very, very long time I sold uh, big brands like Diesel, Replay here in Germany. And um, I, I, I love selling, I love marketing a lot. And what I, when I entered the, uh, the, the industry, you see it's a lot of dev power, but the marketing power is now building up much faster. And uh, we, work with a big network of EIL companies. So we just informed we, people uh, I see two company? months ago uh, in real life, welcome oh, to our companies. We know they have an office, they have a running business. Yeah, yeah, okay. And one of these companies yeah. we are uh, partnered with to explore, especially especially Cardano blockchain, is mm -hmm. a company called Clue.de. And Clue is a company with uh, nearly 70,000 people now. Mm -hmm. Most of them, most of the people in our community know them because they are doing the complete maintenance for the Burj Khalifa Hotel mm -hmm. in Dubai. In Dubai, of course. So it's a, it's a, it's a maintaining company. They call themselves multi-services, so Clue multi-services. Mm -hmm. But they also have, so have let a lot of cleaning stuff, but they also have weaponized uh, stuff working for them. So they guard... Um, in Germany, the special infrastructure, mm -hmm. but they also got a Boeing, like a, a mm -hmm. plane uh, company, who are building planes. Yeah, so they have armed they, guards. They have armed guards, and you know, a digital identity, a digital identity 
is again for them they need a high quality of digital identities sure. they like to have sure. verified they like to have a wallet where they can put it in the stuff of them they like to have in this wallet also the shooting license did the guy did their training please mm -hmm. upload the so called verifiable credentials which is also a driving license or whatever you have an id card is horrible also a verifiable credential sure. and they like to have it in a wallet so the cleaning lady from this company can enter the main building, but they can't enter the, the, the room where is the weapon, where the weapons are stored. Mm -hmm. So, and the guy who works with the weapons or girl for sure, you know, it's, mm -hmm. it's, uh, you know, so they can, they can enter the room for weapons before they can open the locker mm -hmm. where the weapons are stored. Mm -hmm. The program will always check if the license, it's a shooting license up to date. Is everything done? Okay, everything is right. Now the locker is unlocked. Right. Another nice example for our solution we built for Clue is they are also maintaining and guarding big IT infrastructure, like big right. server centers. Hmm. And now it's a Sunday. The main guard is ill. He can't come. The, all the yeah, other people can't come. What should we do? Mm -hmm. We need it safe. Nobody can enter. Just someone who belongs to the company who is guarding, like Clue. So you take your mobile phone there's a camera we can't we can't use every single piece of the camera because of apple greetings to apple we need it and uh, with this camera you can make a kyc with our solution so i delegate this kyc question to you if you like the the, mm -hmm. the guard who's jumping in you make a very fast kyc on the flight and then i can delegate or clue can delegate the entrance to you, we know you are live, you're in front of the camera, and we give you a one time opening the door. Right. So it's super safe, it's the safest possibility mm -hmm. ever saw in such called IAM, so identity access management systems. Mm -hmm. And there we use our solution for the company Clue. All right, Tim, it's time to say goodbye. I wish you all the best, uh, very exciting. Very, very uh, nice to hear that you guys really managed to make a connection between your blockchain digital solutions and uh, and real world problems. And uh, I guess this is what it's all about. So again, thank you very much and uh, looking forward to the next interview. Thanks a lot, Alfred, and uh, greetings to the big team of Cardano Spot. You're doing a great job and I really love to, to listen to your interviews always. Thank you very much. See you soon.